this is Jacob Prasanna Kumar. I am from the Gate Academy Private Limited. I am an alumni from IIT BH Varanasi. I did my bachelor's and master's both from IIT BH Varanasi. And uh, so, as you all know, this seminar is regarding the government job opportunities through Gate examination. So many people may be thinking that I am going to give the list of all the companies which are actually recruiting through Gate. But in fact, in this particular session. I would like to cover regarding the companies which are conducting their own examination but you can easily crack if you have prepared for gate examination. So ultimately at the end of the session you are going to have a clear idea of what are all the job opportunities you can have and you can crack and get a job if you are preparing for gate examination. So before entering into this particular uh, main part of the seminar I would like to give you a brief insight and importance about gate examination. If you see the number of people opting for any examination which can be given after graduation, that means if you see the examinations which can be given by any undergraduate student, highest number of people are opting for gate examination. If you want to see the numbers, I can say for CAT, there are every year 2 lakh people giving that particular examination. But if you take gate examination, only in mechanical stream there are 2 lakh people. Only in EC stream, that is electronics and communication engineering stream, there are 2 lakh people every year giving gate examination. If you take electrical engineering, 1.6 lakh people. Like that, that amount of crowd are actually opting for gate examination. There are few reasons behind this. The reasons are, first one, if you are a student of engineering, you are doing undergraduation, graduate, done your first year, you are in second year or third year or fourth year, you pick your favorite subject, which is completed. Your favorite subject, most favorite subject. And you search a previous gate question from that particular subject in Google and you try to solve it. I can give a guarantee that you are going to get the correct answer for the particular question. What I would like to, what I would like to say here is, gate examination is simple. In terms of difficulty, if you compare with other examinations like CAT, GRE, GMAT, etc., gate examination is simple. This is the first reason because of which that amount of big crowd is opting the gate examination. Uh, instead of other examinations every year. And second reason is, GATE is the only examination after graduation which can give you a job with a less amount of investment. In fact, the investment can be zero. Because if you clear GATE examination, there are ample number of government jobs waiting for you. You can get into those companies easily. So clear the GATE examination, you are getting a job. And that job is also very good job because the packages are concerned, job security is concerned, all are very better as compared to other company examinations or other companies' uh, job descriptions. So if you uh, want to give a gate examination and you are practicing very well and getting a good gate rank, you are having a job. For instance, just assume that you are not getting a job your rank is not great that you are getting a job through the gate examination. So, still you are having a chance to do MTech from IITs and IITs and you can sit in placements. For instance, assume that you are not getting great, great placement from IITs or NITs. Again, you can give gate. There is no limit for the number of times you can give gate examination. You can give the gate examination again in your MTech second year where there are no classes for you or courses for you, only product work is there. So you have ample amount of time. So you can give gate examination and again, uh, gate examination again and get a top rank and get PSU. So another advantage while doing MTech is you are going to get a stipend of 10,400 rupees or it goes to around 11,000. So you are already earning money. Imagine you are spending that extra amount which is more than 10,000 and you are keeping 10,000 rupees as a saving every month. That's a very good start. Nowadays people are struggling to manage their expenses with a salary of 25,000 in hand, 20,000 in hand. Some people are managing within 10,000. 
But if you are doing MTech in an IIT, you are going to save the 10,000 rupees every month. So it's a very, very good start. But if you take another examination like CAT, GRE, etc. For CAT, you have to invest a minimum amount of 20, 20 lakhs because to get a job by doing MBA in IIMs, you need to pay fees of around 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs. In the same way, to get a job through GRE examination, you need an investment of 30 lakhs. If you take GMAT examination, you need an investment of around 50 lakhs to 1 crore, which is very high. As far as GATE is concerned, no investment at all. The zero investment or even negative investment, that means you are going to get some stipend. So because of these reasons, many people are opting for GATE examination. That's the reason why those many um, number of people are opting for GATE examination and very less number of people are opting for other examinations. So if you are choosing GATE as your career path, you are making a very right decision in your life, which is going to affect your future. Understand? So this is the insight I would like to give you regarding GATE examination. So please be serious when you are choosing your career path, assess and ask about everything. Ask about finances, how much you have to invest, the number of job opportunities, the salary package, everything you should have a clarity. As far as, as we are concerned, we are from the GATE Academy, so we are GATE Coaching Institute, so we will give you the details and everything about the GATE examination. In fact, in this particular seminar or the webinar, you are going to have a clear idea about this GATE examination, the packages, everything, not only about the number of companies recruiting through GATE examination. So now I will start with the list of companies which are recruiting the, through the GATE examination. You can see the list of companies on the screen. The list starts with IOCL, HVCL, BPCL, BHL, GAIL, NTPC. Like that it goes on till NALCO. Whatever you are seeing on the screen is not a complete list. Still more companies are there. You can see in the next slide, Cabinet Secretariat, Broadcast Engineering Consultants India Limited. Like that, it goes on till Delhi Transco Limited. The list still continues. Bihar State Power Holding Company Limited, MP Power, Punjab State Power, Haryana Power. Like this, it goes on till Bank Note Paper Mill India Private Limited. You guys can take screenshots of this particular list of companies. So if you see, there are more than 60 plus PSUs which are recruiting through GATE examination every year. 60 plus companies. You write single examination and you are eligible for recruitment of all the companies. They will call you. You have to go and give interview and you have to get selected. That's it. So that is the biggest advantage of this GATE examination. Now, I would like to give you a brief highlight highlights regarding these PSUs. You can see on the screen the highlights of these PSUs. There are more than 4,500 vacancies every year. Minimum package of 8 lakhs per annum and higher study sponsorship for executive MBA programs and PhDs and 2 years of paid leave. So, we see that there are more than 4,000 vacancies, 4,500 vacancies every year by these 60 companies. Companies are more than 60. So these companies are giving you a vacancies of more than 4,500. That's a very, very, very big number. And there's a minimum package of 8 lakhs. There are very few companies. Out of the 60 companies, there are one or two companies which are giving you a package less than 8 lakhs. And there are few companies, very few companies, one or two companies which are giving just above 8 lakhs. But most of the companies are actually lying in the range from 10 and above. That means most of the PSUs are giving a package of CTC more than 10 lakhs per annum. So if it is 8 lakhs, you are going to get enhanced salary of 40,000, excluding everything. That means uh, excluding your home rent allowance, house rent allowance and everything you are going to have 40,000 lump sum amount into your account every month. If it is 10 lakhs per annum, that means your CTC is more than 10 lakhs per annum, you are going to have minimum of 50,000 into your account every month. It's a very large amount because many people are struggling 
with 25,000 rupees and in the 25,000 rupees only they are paying uh, rent, they are paying their expenses and everything. So you are, when you are in a PS, PSU, you are going to have 40,000 minimum amount or 50,000 minimum amount in your account every month, excluding that means out of, after all your expenses. So it's the biggest advantage here. And uh, if you have done bachelor's and master's and got into PSU, we don't need to worry about your higher studies like MBA programs or PhDs because many PSUs are sponsoring these higher studies programs. So they sponsor for executive MBA programs and they also sponsor for PhD programs. So you can, you don't need to have any regret regarding your higher studies. And most important thing regarding PSUs is they give you two years paid leave. Paid leave means they don't like, it's not like they are, you are taking leave and they are going to pay for you. It's not like that. Your designation and your job is there though you are going for a leave of two years. So you have to apply and you have to take leave of two years. So in the two years, if you are having an ambition of uh, doing civil service coaching, that means you want to become IS officer, IPS officer, you can go for coaching and try for that. In the first scenario, if you are not able to clear that examination and you can come back and again join the company. So these are the very, very important highlights regarding these PSUs, which no other private sector company can give. Okay. Now, I would like to give you an insight regarding application process. You people should have a clarity regarding how the application process is there in to these PSUs so that you can get this job. What is the process? What is the step? So you can see on the screen, first step is you have to apply for gate. Second step is you have to apply for the particular company. So whatever all the companies have shown you up till now, you have to apply for those companies individually. You have to keep in mind that if you are not applying for gate and you are trying to apply for this company, you cannot do it because they are recruiting through gate examination. So you have to keep in mind to apply for gate first and then you have to apply for these companies. So these companies release their notification at some point of time in the year. Some people release in the month of August only, some people release in the month of October, some people may release in the month of January, some people may release after gate examination also. But I want you people to take care of that very seriously and prepare uh, and read the notification thoroughly and see the selection procedure and apply for the particular company. Because some companies will ask you to send that particular uh, application hard copy to their registered address. Some companies will ask you to enter their gate score or gate uh, rank after the results. So you should be clear about the selection process. If you are missing any one of these steps, you are out of the recruitment process. So you should be very careful. So while preparing for gate, you should be very serious enough regarding these notifications also. You spend time in reading from first paper to la first line to last line of the notification and complete the registration uh, pro application process of each and every company. For those companies you have applied, for, for those companies only you are valid for sitting in those recruitment process. So you have to make sure you are not missing any step. That is the reason why I am putting in this particular seminar itself. So, after completion of this application process, you will be called for the interviews. They will be shortly study for gate score is good. Kindly take care of this. So now the question arises, what is this good gate rank or good gate score? Or how much should be my gate rank to get into a PSU? So up till now I have told you that there are 4,500 vacancies every year, but I haven't said how much is stream wise. That means how many are for mechanical, how many are for PC like that. Because you, uh, in fact, actually you compete with your own branch people, own stream people. You will not be competing with EC branch people because vacancies of EC are different, vacancies of mechanical are different. You can see on the screen the maximum gate rank you can have to get into a PSU. I am not considering the reserved category ranks here. I am considering open, only open category ranks. So you can see on the screen, for ECE you require a minimum rank of 500. So if your rank is more than 500, you can't expect to have a job in PSU. 
in the same way for electrical engineering you need a max that means you, your rank should be less than 700 for instrumentation engineering your rank should be less than 80 for mechanical engineering your rank should be less than 1000 for civil engineering your rank should be less than 500 so if your rank is less than this number and you are from open category then that means you are having a job so as even here reserve category people are also valid are also eligible so if you are having a rank below these numbers in your respect to stream you are having a job so only thing is you have to apply according to the application procedure and you have to wait for the shortlisted uh, list and you have to attend for the interview that's it okay now I would like to tell you about vacancies that means total number of vacancies per stream just like I said in the previous slide itself that I have told you the total number of vacancies but never told about individual vacancies per stream so you can see on the screen for EC there are 1000 vacancies every year electrical engineering 1400 vacancies every year instrumentation engineering 160 vacancies every year mechanical engineering 2000 vacancies and civil engineering 1000 vacancies you guys have to keep in mind that we got this data from past 5 years experience so we have analyzed past 5 years data and we got this number and uh, these vacancies are for both open category students and also general uh, uh, reserve category students so if you are from reserve category background and if your rank is less than this number for example in EC it is less than 1000 for example in mechanical engineering it is less than 2000 that means a job is waiting for you you just need to apply for the job and get for the interview and tag that interview that's it so you guys can have an idea before preparing for gate examination itself so you can be serious about the preparation of your gate examination here one question arises or many people may be thinking sir you said that in mechanical engineering every year 2 lakh people are giving but here you said I require a rank of 2000 to get into a PSU you will be feeling demotivated don't worry what I'm, whatever I'm gonna tell you now you may feel surprised and many people don't know about it though the competition is there in lakhs for example in mechanical every year 2 lakh people are giving EC 2 lakh people are giving civil uh, 1 lakh people are giving the actual competition is there in the only first 10 thousand first 10 percent in other way I would like to say that I would like to put this in another way that if you are preparing for gate examination seriously for six months or one year or one and a half year if you are preparing seriously and you are giving your best you are giving your best that means you are already there in this first top 10 percent so your level of preparation will make you to be in this top 10 percent like you may be in top 1 percent or you can get rank of all rank 1 you may be in top 5 percent like that so if you are seriously preparing to your best you are already there in the 10 percent you are you will not be there in this 10 percent that means if you take mechanical 20,000 people if you take civil there are one lakh uh, that means 10,000 people you will not be there in this top 10 percent only when you are not serious about gate you have given gate examination very without any seriousness you have stopped your preparation in the middle or you have done some mischievous thing you are not serious only when you are out of this top 10 percent otherwise you are already there in top 10 percent so you should be careful regarding this so please don't get demotivated regarding the absolute or big number competition is there in lakhs but actual competition is there in only thousands you just need to be uh, serious and track that examination okay now after cracking gate examination and getting shortlisted for interview you have to clear the interview also it is not like simply by having good gate rank you'll be having a job you have to clear the interview also but the fortunate thing is the weightage for the selection into a PSU is very less for interviews it's only 20% so 80% weightage is there on the gate score or the gate rank and 20% is there only on the interview it's one of the biggest advantage if you take an exam like CAT only 40% is there on the written test and remaining 60% is there on your interview performance 
The same thing you can go with GRE examination, GMAT examination also. In fact, for GMAT and CAD, they see your work experience also. Here you don't need any work experience at all. So that is the biggest advantage here. Sometimes the interviews will be one to one, only one round interview. Sometimes interviews and PhDs will be of rounds, group discussions, group tasks, personal interviews, etc. Here you don't need to worry because in PSUs they will allow you to talk in Hindi also. You can give your group discussion in Hindi. You can give your personal interview in Hindi. That's the biggest advantage. If you are giving CAT, they expect you to talk in English. Without English, without knowing English, you can't get a good CAT score and get into a good IM or good MBA college. So here you have the advantage. You don't need to have uh, high communication skills in English. You can fluently talk in Hindi. You can give that particular group discussion in Hindi as well or personal interview in Hindi also. So that's the biggest advantage regarding the selection procedure of these PSUs. So as you, as I'm going on talking, you see that all our advantages, there are all positive things regarding the PSU selections through gate examination. It is easy. That is the reason why those many number of people are opting for gate examination. Now, assume that you have prepared very well for gate for six months or one year or one and a half year or two years and got a good gate rank. Okay. Some people will be capable of getting the rank which is less than the cutoffs I have shown you here. They will be getting a PSU job. Some people may be getting a little bit larger rank and going into IITs, NITs, etc. for doing MTech. But some people may be losing their gate rank or may not be able to get a top gate rank or good gate rank which can land them in a PSU because of some unfortunate things. Maybe because of some mistakes from your side also. It's okay. No problem, don't worry. Because there are ample number of companies which are recruiting through their own examinations every year. In fact, this list is, the list of companies, the number of companies are as much, that means the number of companies is same, almost same and more as number of PSUs which are recruiting through gate examination. The list is as big as the previous list. So many people don't know about it. So they don't take them seriously they don't apply for them they don't be they don't have some they don't take some patience and wait for the notification and give that examination many people stop the preparation immediately after the gate examination and just try their luck on the existing gate rank itself which is very very wrong there are many number of psus so first of all i'm starting with central government companies or central government organizations which are recruiting through their own examination every year you can see the list on the screen it starts with bark ISRO, CDAC, Railway Recruitment Board, Staff Selection, Selection, Com Com Staff Selection Commission, Hindustan Copper Limited. And like that, the list goes on till Indian Army. You can take the screenshot of this particular uh, website. And the list continues like this. Indian Coast Guard, Vizac Steel, Central Railside Warehouse Company, and so on till BDL, Bharat Dynamics Limited. So these many companies are there which are recruiting at central level. Okay. So you can easily crack them. Another unique thing about or advantage thing about these examinations is if there are 2 lakh people giving gate examination every year, there are only 20,000 people giving the examination, these type of examinations every year. For example, you take ISRO examination. In mechanic engineering, every year 2 lakh people are giving. Gate examination. Gate examination is given by 2 lakh people every year in mechanical stream. But if you take ISRO, in mechanical stream, there are only 20,000 people every year. So the competition is very less. You can easily get a job very, uh, you can easily get the job in this particular, through these particular examinations here. So you don't need to get depressed if your rank is bad. But till you complete your gate examination, till you get your result, till you give your gate examination, you should be very serious and you should aim on the PSUs which are recruiting through gate examination only. These are all backup plans, that's it. You should not make a backup plan as a primary plan. If you are aiming for these PSUs, then you may get a rank which is far bad. So instead, you aim for top. You try to aim for PSUs like IOCL, HPCL, BPCL, etc. which are recruiting through gate examination. So by any means, if you are losing some, ma or some rank, uh, if you are getting bad rank or larger rank, then you can opt for these examinations. There should be a backup plan. So up till now I have shown you only central government companies or examinations through central government organizations. 
Now I would like to show you state level companies because every state also recruits through their own examination. Many companies recruit, uh, many state level companies also recruit through their own examinations. And other important thing regarding these examinations is you don't need to be from the particular state only. If you are from the state of Telangana and uh, so if you are state from Telangana, it doesn't mean that you are not eligible for uh, the government companies of Maharashtra state. Limitations will be there. Sometimes they give uh, uh, vacancies for non-local candidates. Sometimes they will not give. But you have to check. It's better that you check it. I'm going to give you the list of all the companies of the different states. So you remember to check the notification if there are any vacancies for non-local candidates. So that you can give that examination and you can get a job. And packages are almost the same as the packages of the companies which are recruiting through gate examination. So I'm showing the list here. You can see on the screen. So this slide shows regarding Karnataka, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu. So for Karnataka it starts with KPCL, KPTCL, KUWSDB, BMRCL that is Bangalore Metro, BBMP, KPWD and till it goes Bescom. Uh, so for West Bengal it starts with WPSC that is West Bengal Public Service Commission and goes till WBPDCL. And for Tamil Nadu it starts with Tamil Nadu Engineering Board, so Electricity Board, sorry, TNEB, TNPSC, that is Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission, and goes still ICMAM. In the same way, if you see for the company, uh, for the states of Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Telangana, these are all the companies. So for Gujarat, GSECL, GPSC, GWSSB, for Andhra Pradesh, AP Transco, Genco, and APPSC. And for Maharashtra, Maharashtra Maritime Board, Directorate of Municipal Admission and so on, it goes till Maharashtra State Engineering Services Examination. And for Telangana, TSSPDCL, TS Transco, TSPSC. So here we see, these are the number of companies are there. Like I said earlier, this list, the companies which are recruiting through their own examination is same. That means this is uh, larger, it's almost larger as the companies, the number of companies, the list of companies which are recruiting through gate examination directly. Many people do one mistake. They prepare for gate very well and once gate examination completes, they start, they stop their preparation of gate. They just simply wait for the results. They relax. And then, if you are like uh, uh, those people who are getting top gate rank and getting into PSUs, that will be okay for them. But some people will be left over because of few mistakes, like I said because of their mistakes, because of their some limitations, they might be getting a larger gate rank, which cannot give them a job in that year. So they just wait. And they'll find out that in future, uh, they got some recruitment notification from some company, whichever I have shown you now, or examination. Then they start preparation for the examination separately. So they give a gap of two to three months immediately after gate examination, which is a very, very big blunder mistake. Trust me, if you guys are continuing your preparation without stopping till you get a job, till you get an offer letter from any company of a PSU, if you are not stopping your gate preparation means by the end of December 2020, that means if you are giving gate 2019, by the end of, sorry, by, if you are giving gate 2019, by the end of December 2019, you will be having a job in your hand. Trust me, it is very, very true. Many people stop preparation immediately after gate examination because of which they lose their opportunities. They will not be able to get a uh, job before December 2019. In the worst scenario, I'm telling you here, because I would like uh, I would like to guide everyone. I don't want this Swatita seminar is for only few people who are having high IQ, who are having ample number of opportunities, resources, money, etc. I want this seminar to be useful for the people who are having lesser IQ, lesser resources, etc. Also. So what I would like to say here is, if you are continuing your preparation and in the worst scenario, if you are unable to get job before 2019 December, then you can give 2020 gate examination. It is just one month after that. So trust me, if you are giving gate examination the second time, definitely your rank will be good. Because you know already what to do, what not to do. You will invest that amount of time only for a particular subject which is how much required. You will not waste or put any extra amount of time on the particular subject. Understood? So. That is the biggest uh, important thing which you have to keep in mind. So you people 
no matter whatever the gate rank you get, you continue your preparation till you have a job offer which is highly satisfied to you in your hand. Once you get the job offer, then you stop gate preparation. That is the ideal way of doing it. Trust me, if you are saving the time that like for example after gate 2019 examination you are still preparing until you are invest, you are seriously preparing and not wasting time till December 2019, once you get the job, you will never be required to look back. You never be required, uh, uh, need to look back. Many people do this mistake and again they try for gate 2020, they waste time, they don't do the preparation in a serious way. They wait for three months, wait for some examinations to clear. If they are not getting cleared, then wait for 2920 gate examination. Uh, so again, they do the only preparation for three months or four months, which will not be sufficient. Like that, they will not clear even gate 2020 examination also. Then they wait for gate 2021. Like that, many people are wasting time just by sitting in Hyderabad and Delhi because of this mistake. So I want you people to be serious. Take care of this. Understood everybody? Clear? So, before wrapping up this session, I would like to tell you a very, or I would like to introduce you or make you know regarding a very, very unique feature of the Gate Academy, which many people may be knowing or may not be knowing. You may be a student from a city like Hyderabad or Delhi, where ample number of coaching institutes are there, or like Bangalore or Chennai, or you may be from a city where coaching institutes are not there. You may be from a village. Your home town is a village. You may be at some corner part of the country. For you people, it may be very difficult. It might be difficult for you people to shift from your particular hometown or home village to city like Hyderabad, Bangalore or Chennai or Delhi and take gate coaching, invest your time, okay, invest money for gate fees of 50,000 and uh, invest money for rent, like paying 2,000 rupees per month like that. So you can't spend lakhs of money on your preparation. You might be having this scenario. Many people may be having this scenario. And many people may not be okay with shifting from their hometown where comforts are there, where everything is set, to a place where you are to on you are, you are actually on your own. You have to cook for yourself, you have to pay rent for yourself, you have to take money, you have to manage money for yourself. This may be a very, very tough decision for many of the people. I know this particular whatever I'm telling you is touching many of the people. For all your people. I would like to introduce you a particular feature of the Gate Academy where you can listen or complete your gate coaching in a more effective way I can say by sitting just at your home that we call as home gate. That means you sit at your home and you will listen live lectures. So if you see the interface later if you are enrolling for demo class you will be getting to know that uh, or getting to know about that interface there. So you will be live, you will be watching the faculty lecture live. Faculty is actually teaching in the studio. It's like you are having a live session now. Faculty will be teaching, taking a live session. And beside the screen, you will be having a chat box. The live session screen will be having a chat box where you can immediately put your query. For example, you are sitting in a physical class, a real class. Immediately you are facing any doubt, you will ask the faculty, right? The same thing you can do by putting or writing in the chat box. Immediately, faculty will see the chat box, the message in the chat box, and immediately will give you the answer. So it is same, that means the level of interaction is same as compared to other exam, uh, it, level of interaction is same as compared to a real physical class. So many people are actually uh, got, and, uh, uh, got benefited from that. Even we got, better ranks that means like we got same good ranks like double digit rank triple digit ranks from this home gate session also many people think that will it be comfortable for me is it okay or not i think actually going to physical class is good but i will tell you frankly if you're going to a physical class you have to sit for eight hours minimum you took any coaching institute from morning to evening you have to sit for eight hours here you just have to sit for three hours by at your home your mom can cook, cook, cook food for you, your father will be paying you for the rent. You just All you need to do is sit in your room and listen to the lecture and write down the notes. That's it. And all the other facilities like test series, uh, like materials, everything you'll be getting. Test series, enrollment, username, password will be getting. And the materials, everything you'll be getting through Korea. So regarding the features of this home gate, you'll be getting to know by contacting our Gate Academy 
counselors. I'll give you the contact at the end of the session. So what I would like to tell you here is it's a very, very good opportunity to crack the gate examination. I'm telling you frankly, if you are going for a physical class, you're unable to manage time for cooking, you're unable to manage money for uh, paying rent, and you are struggling by sitting by living in a city like Hyderabad or Delhi, and you are depressed, you cannot crack gate examination peacefully. Instead, imagine you are sitting at home, you are in your room, all you need is a laptop or a computer and an internet connection. You can listen to the lecture, make the notes, you can ask the doubts. Another advantage in the particularization is, if you are missing any lecture, you will be having in the database. Okay, you are coming to class today, tomorrow you are not coming, you are missing the lecture and tomorrow, uh, day of tomorrow another lecture is there. So, to understand day of tomorrow's lecture thoroughly, tomorrow after completing the class or before a day of tomorrow's class, you can listen the completed lecture without any missing. So, you will be continuous. The uh, only thing you will miss is you will miss the live because faculty will not be there. You are actually uh, watching, a li uh, watching a recorded video, not a live video. It is a past live video, now it is a recorded video. That is the only thing which you will miss. But you can ask your faculty the doubt in the next class. So I advise you all to take care of this opportunity and uh, uh, I can tell proudly from my heart that if I am a student of a, at your level, okay, if Gate Academy was uh, if Gate Academy had started this type of home gate long back when I was in my college, maybe five years back or six years back, definitely I would have got RL rank one. I struggled a lot because of my finances, because of uh, other issues by shifting into some other city. So this problem is not there for you people. Take care of this opportunity. So I am leaving the contact you can see on the screen here. So to contact regarding this home gate etc you can see on the screen. Info at the gateacademy.com it is a mail id and phone numbers are 080 and phone number is the mobile phone number is 9739 So these numbers are there. You call. You ask for all the features. What are the differences are there? What is the fees? Other thing I forgot. The most important thing is fees is almost half, less than half, or I can say far lesser than the fees for a conventional classroom session. You can compare with any other institute. So take care of this. Why to waste the time? Unnecessary thing. Why to waste money, time, energy, everything? Okay. Why can't you relaxedly prepare for gate examination? So if I were you, I try to choose this home gate. So for any other extra queries and all, you can contact this and you ask completely. Mostly they'll be giving you, like if you're interested uh, to know about the session and all, they'll give you access for demo class. And you can see the interface. And you can see the level at which the faculty is teaching. So I'm very confident that you guys will feel that it's a game changer. Or uh, that means it's going to uh, like you are going to learn gate. That means you are going to do the gate coaching in a far more better way as compared to your friends who have joined a conventional coaching center and struggling in a city like Hyderabad or Delhi. They can do it. So I'm very confident about it, and I'm very happy to provide this session. I'm actually guiding you all people. So if you are serious about getting a job through gate examination, this is the uh, one of the best session for you people. So when you look back, this particular session is going to be uh, very, very memorable to you or a turning point for you people. So please don't neglect whatever I said. So be serious and uh, prepare for the gate examination. Thank you so much everyone. All the best. 